Chair now recognizes uh, Representative Brown from Ohio. Uh, thank you, Chairman, and uh, thank you, Commissioner Kayla, for coming before us today. On March 15, 2023, Congresswoman Presley and I wrote to you urging an investigation into the link between chemical hair straighteners and uterine cancer. I would personally like to express my gratitude to the Food and Drug Administration for your rapid response and dedication to addressing this matter. I am pleased the FDA has already taken immediate steps with a proposed rule to limit the use of harmful chemicals found in many hair straightening products. As you know, black women experience scrutiny and discrimination regarding our hair, which has led to widespread use of these products. Black hair should not restrict our ability to learn in school or advance in the workplace, nor should our hair, our hair care products come with health risks. As the FDA finalizes this rule, I look forward to working together to ensure our consumer products remain safe for everyone. Furthermore, I know you are hard at work to protect Americans in other ways too. The Biden-Harris administration and Democrats continue to fight to protect and preserve women's reproductive rights. The FDA's recent landmark approval of over-the-counter birth control moves us one step closer to reproductive freedom even amid brutal, backwards, and barbaric abortion bans like Arizona's and other attacks in reproductive health, including my own state of Ohio. Women, have the right to, women must have the right to control with, when, if, and how to start a family. Increased access to safe and reliable contraception provides space for that decision to be made while putting control back in the hands of women. So Commissioner Califf, what have been the impacts so far of over-the-counter birth control hitting shelves across America? Well, we're in the, we're in the early uh, phase of it, obviously, and there's always a lot to work out when something goes commercially because of pricing and all. But it, the availability, I think, as more um, manufacturers come on the market, given the precedent, um, we should see much more wide-scale availability so that um, people can use the products as indicated. Okay, thank you. And finally, one last issue I would like to touch on concerns a disease impacting far too many in the black and brown community. Roughly one in eight, one in eight black Americans live with diabetes, while in my district of Cuyahoga County, the black diabetes rate is over 25%, over one in four. Certain FDA approved weight loss drugs aid in obesity management for adults with weight-related conditions like type 2 diabetes. For many, these drugs are life-changing and life-saving. Unfortunately, though, these medications are often too unaffordable and inaccessible for those who need them most, especially uninsured individuals. So Commissioner Califf, how is the DA working to ensure these new, highly effective treatments are reaching populations who need them most? Well, first of all, I um, appreciate your description of the problem. And um, there, are, there are special populations at much higher risk. You've referred to one. I'd say rural people in general are also suffering greatly. And it's one of the main reasons that we're seeing this uh, very troublesome decline in life expectancy Right now, um, despite the fact that we're producing the majority of the innovations um, in medical products, we're almost in last place among high-income countries in terms of life expectancy and the disability and multiple chronic diseases that go along with it. Unfortunately, our tools at FDA specifically are very limited for what you described because we are limited by law in dealing with price or of products uh, when they come to market. This is a policy issue, though, for all of the administration and for Congress to consider. The one thing that we do that uh, when we have a product like, a set of products like this that look so effective so far, is working with the manufacturers to get more products on the market because the competition uh, does bring the price down. But what you're referring to is most unfortunate in many ways there's a saying that I love, um, it it's, makes you feel bad in a way, but it was in the Atlantic uh, during the pandemic, and technological solutions drift into society's penthouses, diseases seep into society's cracks. 
And the problem is, here we have a highly effective treatment. Who's getting most of it? The wealthy and highly educated people. Who needs it the most? It's the people that you described who may have lower income um, and are, are in the need. So this is a major policy problem. I'm sorry the FDA is limited in what it can specifically do, but I can assure you that, for example, CMS is thinking hard about what it might do about this. Well, I thank you for um, your thoughtfulness, and I thank you and I, um, for this work that you're doing. And I look forward to continuing and staying in good contact with you. And with that, I yield the balance of my time.